Right, while I've got this engine apart, doing some work on it because the flywheel's out and the timing's all fucked up, I'm going to give you a demonstration of how two-stroke engines actually work. I have to be careful because this thing's still hot. It was just running but the timing's screwed up, so... Okay. Right, what actually happens is, when the piston... Let's move this a little bit. Should have done this a second ago. That was, right. When the piston comes goes up on the power stroke, because there's fuel and air already in there, it will compress it, ignites that, that's what pushes the piston down, moves the crankshaft around. And as it does this, the piston's coming back down makes this area smaller. And that, because it's gonna have air and fuel in it from the carb, it can that gets compressed. When the piston gets to the bottom of the stroke here, there's two ports either side of the piston or backwards or the back and front of the piston and that shoots up the mixture in here because this is a higher pressure and in here is a low pressure because all of the combustion that was just happens in this cylinder would have already gone out of the exhaust so the high pressure flows to the low pressure and then as the piston comes back around to here then that shuts these ports and the exhaust at the same time and pushes the piston, um, compresses the mixture and it ignites it again. But as the piston's going up, it gets here, as the piston passes this chamber hit this port here, which is the carbon in that, it because this is a low pressure now, the piston's gone back up, this is a higher pressure and it sucks air or rather it actually pushes air in through the carburetor through a little port, you can kind of see it here where the cylinder is and as the piston goes up, that actually it's like a valve in there, the piston as well that will pull air into the crankcase and when the piston comes back down it just compresses that and the system starts again on more expensive engines like on crossroaders, some um, quads and like off-road machines, they will not have this set up. There will only be um, it was similar to this, but it will have a reed cage, and so they're like little valves, but they're spring. Like the same thing that's in the top of a compressor here. If you've ever taken one of them apart, you'll know what I mean. It's just like two little um, it's like there'll be holes in it. And if you imagine two plastic or like very thin aluminium, like they're just little things, they sit over the top and as the air pressure is higher underneath it will push it up, the air comes through, it will drop back down and it seals immediately. On chainsaws and things like that, this here can, you wouldn't have something here that can be removed because it on a chainsaw it's a full crankshaft, it means you've got a flywheel and pull start on one side then on the other side you've got your clutch which goes to your blade then somewhere under here, about this position here, you'll have a carburetor a similar looking thing to this plastic bit which bolts on and in between there there'll be another, there'll be one single reed and that's so as the piston goes up it makes a lower pressure in here it can then suck the air through and as the piston comes back down and compresses it they'll then close and that's what allows it to be compressed that's the basics of a two stroke engine as you know you've got your like coil pack and spark here and your exhaust says they're all the same uh, there's not really anything to it they're actually really simple to get your heads around, you just need a little bit of knowledge about them and you can fix most of them. If you have an engine which s fires but does not start, that means you've got a bad crankcase gasket. This one I think is bad, it needs replacing. This one I cut out, that's why it's all crappy. All you do, get a bit of gasket paper, kind of cut around it, just make sure it fits here and it'll be fine on some cheaper models, like this one here the crank, no, that's not it. the crank case got a cover, it's made of plastic here and if you drop these or something it gets dropped on them around this area even if it was right in the middle can cause little cracks like on the underside where you can't see them on the inside along here and it'll leak, you won't know it but it can, if it's really small it'll lose power, it'll still run but it'll lose power and you probably won't be able to get much done with it. Um, 
if these things completely blow out you need to replace it, you can't really bodge them or anything so there's no you can just get a little piece of aluminium or something same shape just it needs to be indent it needs to kind of it needs to look like a cup like this because when that's in the engine it's right up close to the crankshaft and it um, helps to hold your comrade in position it's not going to come off all by itself but it just helps as you can tell this one moved at one time and it hit it here hit hit here only because I accidentally hit the crankshaft with a hammer and it moved the crank and hit it but oh well the engine's fine and it does need to do that timing issue so that's all you need to know about two stroke engines really so oh yeah there's one other thing if you ever do have the problem with low power or it fires and doesn't start things like that which would make you think there's something wrong in crank um, crankcase gasket or something around this area but you've checked it and it's fine the other possibility is the other end of your crank um, crankshaft you got your bearings here these ones are really dirty but these ones are good if you look around here and it looks really clean but oily or really oily and fairly dirty because dirt's stuck to them you normally won't get that because once your thing starts working really crappy you wouldn't use it anyway but if you do look around here and it's juicy looking that's because your um, bearings on your, the seals on your bearings have gone these don't very commonly wear out quickly they're pretty easy to make it got like this little circlet around here you just take that off take your crankcase off yeah cylinder and piston off and just hit it out with a hammer that's all there is to it and then you can pull your you can hit your pairings out with a hammer because these are old anyway you're not going to want them and just get a screwdriver wedge it in from the other side hit them out you want to do um, 12 6 3 9 like on a clock so you want to hit the top bottom then the left and then the right no sorry top bottom left right so you're going to want to hit it so it comes out evenly and this thing's cooled down enough that I can actually move it now so that's all you need to know about them you can often get little problems with these things when they've been overworked you can have bad bearings here which give it a rod knock sometimes they're not too bad really these things are so small and the roller bearings in them are actually quite tough so they're hard for them to get really badly destroyed you can it's rare for them to get a broken com rod but it does happen the other most common problem with them being overworked I mean really overworked will be this here it will turn from a square into a circle more common on clutches like this one you know, that's round that's been overworked and stretched the metal so even if you were to get a pair of vice grips and put that back into a square it would still, this would just spin and the shaft would do nothing so what you need to do, you need to go on the website that ever supplied you a brush cutter or a strimmer or whatever, whatever's got one of these clutch, chainsaw or whatever chainsaws won't have this actually, a chainsaw will just have a little kind of like sprocket here but it will not be like a bike, bike sprocket it will have things similar to this but it'll be wider and these little things won't stick up as far maybe they'll only stick up half as far as what that does so that's most of the stuff you need to know about them if you've got any questions about two stroke engines um, put it in the comments or email me and I'll get back to you see you later